St. Lucia is an island in the Caribbean Sea. It is the second largest of the Windward group. The vast majority of inhabitants of the island are black and there is a small minority of people of mixed heritage. The remainder are white or of East Indian extraction. A French patois is spoken by most of the inhabitants but is being gradually supplanted by English, the official language. St. Lucia's national dish consists of green banana and saltfish locally known as green figs and saltfish. This dish has its roots in the 19th century slavery when bananas were plentiful and dried salted codfish was imported cheaply from Canada to serve as rations for slaves. Breadfruit and saltfish is also an alternative favorite among St. Lucians. Other specialty dishes include a dish known as boyand, which is a thick red bean, one pot soup meal made of meat, ground provisions, and vegetables. Other popular local dishes include kalalu, arak, green fig salad, a traditional breakfast spice hot drink called cocoa tea, and bakes which are very similar to Johnny Cakes. St. Lucia was first known as Luanaleo by the Arawak Indians in 200 AD, meaning Island of Iguana, and then Hiwanara in 800 AD when the Carib Indians arrived and assimilated their culture into St. Lucia. The Caribs lived on St. Lucia until the 1600s, when the settlers attempted to take control of the island to boost their European trade. Christopher Columbus named the island St. Lucia when he sighted it on St. Lucy's Day in 1502. After an unsuccessful early attempt by the Spanish to take control, possession of the island was disputed, often bloodily by the French and British. Around 1600, the Dutch started the first European camp at what is now VX Fort. The Caribs pushed them out. In 1605, an English vessel called the Olive Branch was blown off course on its way to Ghana and 67 of the colonies started a settlement on St. Lucia. After five weeks, only 19 survived because of disease and conflict with the Caribs, so they fled the island. In 1635, the French officially claimed the island but didn't settle it. Instead, it was the English who attempted the next European settlement in 1639, but the Caribs wiped them out too. In 1643, a French expedition sent out from Martinique by Jacques Dial de Parquet, the governor of Martinique, established a permanent settlement on the island. He appointed an experienced French officer named de Rosalan as the island's governor. De Rosalan had married a Carib wife, a fact that Du Parquet must have thought would ingratiate him with the Carib of St. Lucia. De Rosalan remained in post until his death in 1654. In 1664, Thomas Warner, son of the governor of St. Kitts, claimed St. Lucia for England. He brought 1,000 men to defend it from the French. But after two years, only 89 survived, mostly because of disease. In 1666, the French West India Company resumed control of the island, which in 1674 was made an official French crown colony as a dependency of Martinique. The British made further attempts to gain control and the island changed hands again and again. 
and was a focus of the Anglo-French hostilities during the Seven Year Wars. During the war, British occupied St. Lucia in 1762, but gave the island back to the Treaty of Paris on the 10th of February, 1763. Britain occupied the island again in 1778, after the Grand Battle of Cul-de-Sac during the American Revolutionary War. The British developed a prosperous plantation economy based on sugar and imported enslaved Africans to do the work. Conditions were harsh and many African slaves died, requiring continued importation of new captives. By 1779, the island's population had increased to 19,230, which included 16,003 slaves working 44 sugar plantations. The British abolished the African slave trade in 1807. They acquired St. Lucia permanently in 1814. It was not until 1834 that they abolished the institution of slavery. Even after abolition, all former slaves had to serve a four-year apprenticeship during which they had to work for free for their former master for at least three quarters of the work week. They achieved full freedom in 1838. By that time, people of African ethnicity outnumbered those of ethnic European background. Some people of Carib descent also comprised a minority of the island. The island was a member of the Windward Islands Federation until 1959. In 1959, St. Lucia joined the West Indies Federation under which it was proposed that the British Caribbean countries should proceed to independence as a federation. This agreement among larger members led to the dissolution of federation in 1962 and the larger members proceeded alone to independence. In the West Indies Act of 1967, St. Lucia received a new constitution giving full internal self-government under universal franchise as one of the states of the Federation States of the Antilles. On February 22, 1979, St. Lucia became independent as a constitutional monarchy and member of the Commonwealth with John Campton of the United Workers' Party as its first Prime Minister and Sir Alan Montgomery Lewis as its first Governor General. The island is one of the more prosperous in the Eastern Caribbean. It has attracted foreign business and investment, especially in its offshore banking and tourism industry. Tourism is St. Lucia's primary source of jobs and income. The manufacturing sector is the most diverse in the Eastern Caribbean area. Crops such as banana, mangoes and avocados continue to grow for export. But St. Lucia's one solid banana industry has been devastated by strong competition. <music>